pairing through Bluetooth via this URL, the mxsetup.logi.com. There is an alternative way to connect with the little USB block, um, but for most people, Bluetooth will be the better choice, and we get this little online wizard guide to help connect. So we want to connect, choose mouse, and let's just have a look if we're using receiver. We turn over and switch the mouse on, and then we see that there's the, the use of the block being needed. So we're not going to go and do that today, so I'm just going to click back and come out of that, and we're going to go into the connect via Bluetooth. This will require the step of going into Bluetooth settings on your computer or laptop and switching it on. So again, we have the same first step, turn your mouse over and switch it on. And you'll have three profiles which you can assign for maybe different people, different applications. If you're a gamer and you're a first person shooter, you might want your mouse settings specific for that game. So having three profiles should be enough. Um, for most, you'll just stay with one profile all, the time, profile all the time. So I've been through this and connected before and I don't get the quick flashing blue light. So what I have to do in my case is press and hold the button and then it flashes quickly on the one. Um, in the next setting, we're instructed to go into our device to get the Bluetooth settings up. So we want wrong window. Here's our Bluetooth, we're gonna connect. Yours will look different to my screen, but effectively in this, this screen on Windows, whatever system you've got, you're gonna get to this connected thing. My laptop's quite old now, so it's it's not it's not the best, and yours probably will work a lot more, so we'll close that out. And that's the pairing. Now, to set up your mouse, you will need to download the program to install it and configure your mouse which is a different setup and alternative to this thanks for watching i've downloaded the installer for um my mac and it downloaded a zip file so we'll go ahead and unzip that which in a mac gives us a separate file which we double click on again oh Fabulous. So I've just had some um, struggles because my Mac is slightly old and it it tops out at 10, 15, 7 in terms of operating system, which is Catalina. Um, most of you won't have any troubles with that. I jumped onto Logitech customer support here and he gave me an actual link, but yeah, the website isn't doesn't seem to be perfectly up to date most of you won't have this issue so i don't want to waste any more time on it so so we're just installing the Logitech software on the Mac and hopefully will be there shortly. So we need to start to grant accessibility permissions and for a Mac, again, this is slightly different, but I believe this has opened in a different window. So let's see if it will open it for us.
yeah so select accessibility and then we should get here we might have to do our password That's good. It shows your software is talking directly to the operating system. Um, let's click continue. And we've got some input monitoring permissions. So is that quitting this little helper? I don't know, let's see. Maybe I have to just lock this like I did last time. It's my first time going through this, so. Let's just skip that, shall we? Okay, so here we are. Let's add a device. Bluetooth, that's how we're connected. And the MX Master 3S is connected there, so. connected hmm just close that out so it looks like it's just checking for connection which we've already done this step so I'm not sure about that I might have to pause the video and come back I think, no, I think it's found it and I didn't need to necessarily add device. Um, so it looks like we've got a battery, so we click on the device. Okay, set up your MX Master 3S, click next. Let's do that then. Pointer speed. Yeah, that's really, really a good speed. Let's try, it's a bit too fast when I get into... So have a play around with that extend range sensor. To match high resolution monitors. I don't have a high resolution monitor, so whether it's good to have that enabled or not, I don't know if it's gonna make it super jittery. But if we've got it, we might as well use it, right? Um, that takes too long to get across, that's Okay, let's set that for now. This is something I'm gonna come back to and work on. Mode shift top button. With the scroll wheel silently shift from line to line to hyper fast. Ratchet and free spin. I can I'm just moving the button now and I can feel the ratcheting. So if I press oh yeah. So I've just pressed this button and now this operates smoothly so I press it again and it's now ratcheted and gives me line by line control which is cool okay let's go next horizontal scroll yeah that's I don't know that that I'm I think I might have to get used to that one but it just feels as though I have to move half a centimeter mm. it feels like a lot of work for a thumb to do that would be what I would say. Um, and I might like to try that more on the zoom in and out feature. 
because if I'm in Photoshop or something, um, oh, navigate between tabs, that would be nice. Let's try that and we'll come back. Back button. Yeah, copy could be good. I'm forever doing Apple C. So if that's copy and then forward to paste or maybe forward should be copy. Uh, we don't have much. Let's try copy and then forward paste. So I don't think I use back and forwards much. So let's try copy and paste on there. Yeah, that's the three profiles we've got. So we could set that up slightly differently depending on what we were doing. Maybe if we were gaming versus working, for example. Gestures. Now, what is this? Window navigation, thumb button. I can't see any button there. So is that a sensitive area of the mouse? Click and hold, but I think it's just. I'm just click and hold, hold and move left to switch between desktops. Hmm. We'll have to have a look at that. Yeah, I can't see any of these doing anything at the moment. Can't see. Oh yes, there is a button there. There is a button there. It's a slightly raised lip, so that's a that's a button. But it feels a little stiff, I would say. But we'll see if we can get used to that. Set up app specific customizations. Yeah, that would be good to do. So, pan, hold and move the mouse, redo, undo, brush size, that would be a handy one. So this is good, so Chrome, so it's then navigate between tabs, yeah, so. Very interesting. I'll do more in the final review and I'll show things in a little bit more detail showing how you can do that when I come to do the review and it will take me a couple of weeks I think to get used to it from a traditional trackpad so yeah thanks for watching I'll stop the video there so it's not too long that's a little bit of a walkthrough of the features that are available and um, yeah thanks for watching and take care so we had some problems installing plugins in Photoshop. Well, that's exactly my experience with that OB of late. So yeah, no more to be said on that one. Um, let's just see what this is continuing to customize. Um, point and scroll. Then we'll so we get to click on that. Okay. Add application. So we can add an application and then change a specific setting for that pointer um, buttons.
Okay, flow, what's flow? Yep, that's quite an advanced technique. I think we'll need a separate video for that if at all. And um, we'll do it. Check for an update. So this should check for firmware that's in the mouse itself. Um, The feature tool should be good as well to do. Let's just finish the check for update. It's going to do it. Okay, this is going to take a little while. Let's click pause.